the Mayweather vs. Pacquiao fights refer to a highly anticipated boxing match that took place on May 2, 2015, between Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao. The fight was dubbed the fight of the century, due to the immense popularity of both boxers and the anticipation surrounding their meeting in the ring. Floyd Mayweather Jr., an undefeated American boxer, was known for his defensive skills, technical precision, and strategic approach. He had built a reputation as one of the best boxers of his generation. Manny Pacquiao, a Filipino boxing icon, was renowned for his aggressive style, speed, and punching power. He had achieved great success in multiple weight divisions and was highly regarded as a formidable opponent. The fight generated significant hype and attracted worldwide attention. Fans and boxing enthusiasts eagerly awaited the clash of styles between Mayweather's defensive prowess and Pacquiao's relentless attack. However, the fight itself turned out to be a somewhat disappointing affair for many viewers. Floyd Mayweather Jr. won the bout by unanimous decision after 12 rounds of boxing. The judges' scorecards favored Mayweather's defensive skills and counter-punching ability over Pacquiao's aggressive but often ineffective attacks. The fight was criticized for its lack of sustained action and excitement, with Mayweather's defensive tactics contributing to a relatively low punch output from both fighters. There were several factors that may have contributed to Manny Pacquiao's loss in the fight. Mayweather's defensive skills and ability to avoid getting hit effectively neutralized Pacquiao's aggressive style. Mayweather's superior footwork and counterpunching ability allowed him to frustrate Pacquiao and land clean shots while minimizing his own risks. Additionally, Pacquiao later revealed that he had been dealing with a shoulder injury during the fight which significantly impacted his performance. He underwent surgery for a torn rotator cuff shortly after the bout, explaining why he was unable to throw his punches with full power and frequency. In summary, the Mayweather vs Pacquiao fights were highly anticipated clashes between two boxing legends. Mayweather's defensive skills and strategic approach combined with Pacquiao's shoulder injury, played a significant role in Pacquiao's loss. Despite the outcome, the fights remain significant events in boxing history, drawing attention to the contrasting styles and legacies of both fighters. He landed a beautiful straight left lead. He got, did try to mount and attack, but he was strictly going to the head. Pacquiao throwing the counter left hand. And with Floyd being the taller man with the better straight punches, you can't get. That's how Manny Pacquiao was able to get some things done. Might Pacquiao be able to get going at some point? And they are able to do that. Yeah, but the difference is, Marcus might not jab going. Whether he's doing tactically in the fight. No, 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 no. So free is the conventional fighter. We haven't seen their front feet engage it. What his father told him before that round started, he wanted really to control that last round. Landing the right hand, landing combat. That dramatically favors Floyd Mayweather. No question. And you know, it's thrown and landed at exactly the same percentage against lefties at Mayweather, blocking them pretty effectively. Oh, There's a straight look out will score with is the straight left hand because it mimics a for Floyd Mayweather. Good body shot by Pacquiao. Another. This is a reminder of the early rounds of the Oscar De La Hoya fight. And throw flurries like that that brought the crowd out of their seats. By him doing that, he could give a round away. Out in his tracks and disrupt his timing. This is where ropes set. But because of the two flurries against the ropes, this won't be an easy round. He wants to see his total domination by Floyd because he don't want to be close. Because he feels like it. We'll see how that impacts. But then again, Manny Pacquiao is not a brilliant counterpart. Steve Farwood and Harold. For the judges not to give him the rounds. His punches are very flashy. And we already have way through, but guess what? We're more than half his jabs. He doesn't jab as much as people think. Hard left hand. He throws the left hand and lunging in. I think one thing set it up. When he gets it off, and there's an example of one. And what does it do? It at least gives him that long jab is making back out the outside like that right there. Left hand a moment ago. Every time Manny lands one, 
Well, he should step to the right and get outside of Mayweather's front. Equal number of power punches. Pacquiao throwing many more. And again, if he would be ahead on the scorecards, it would be because of the jam. Hard right hand to close. Good hook right there. Great left hook by Mayweather. Uh, getting away from the game plan, I think. Because I know he has a game. Busy fight, he's forced to manage to be more desperate. Which will make him get hit far between. Now, Mayweather doing the exact same thing. Countering Floyd Mayweather did well in. There he throws a jab. This is where Pac the stretch of the fight. In this fight, Manny Pacquiao is only thrown. Because if he can slow you down in his pace, there's no way in the world you're going to beat him. I don't care how good most of the fight. Would Manny Pacquiao consider selling out to go for the knockout? And there you see the copy box numbers of total punches thrown. Manny was at ringside, felt that Marquez had won the fight. But down the stretch, pointed out that counter right hand. He wants to get it for Pacquiao. Less than 10 seconds. Pacquiao is landing at 18% in this fight. Mayweather in many respects. Hard left hand to the body by Pacquiao. Having the effective jab that he's had uh, against this. With that nice left jab, that straight right hand. Manny's is of Mayweather's effectiveness with the jab. How much of that? It's not easy against any fighter to come forward and attack without making a problem against somebody with the accuracy and precision of Floyd Mayweather. As it moves on, I don't know, but he has done better in this round. Mayweather don't have to do much. He's been swayed by the crowd noise and the excitement that is generated is the right hand. And wait, even though he's hit with the jab by Manny Pacquiao, does. well, if you're wondering, Floyd Mayweather's hard right hand by Mayweather. He wants to make sure it's 18 or no. Like he tried to get Pacquiao. Yeah, I think it's becoming obvious. You know, we said it going in. Mayweather's at which Pacquiao's ever entered the ring. He didn't get off to his fast to start. Being behind his jab, being safe. The biggest issue is, as we were in a straight line, no foot movement from him to try and attack a team 20 pounds bigger. You're not going to beat Floyd Mayweather attacking on a straight. Gets him into the corner. He says he hunts Manny Pacquiao with right-hand counter shots. Lands a left hook. He, got, he has Manny Pacquiao. He wants him. So now he's in. Using the jab as a not more than a range. That Manny Pacquiao is far enough behind on the scorecard. 49 and 0 equals Rocky Marciano's hallowed mark. He was very definitive in telling us that at the meeting. Whether that Jim and do that as long as he was patient, because that took a lot of patience for him to hold off. The public interest in the fight might wane because it took so long for the. And at the end of the day, Manny Pacquiao didn't have like that word.